Welcome to Talkin' in EPA, and I'm Paula Degnan. Today we're going to talk about kids and healthy kids, and maybe something that you think kids don't even have to be concerned about anymore, and that is lead poisoning. What to do about it, what can be done about it, we're going to find out more. Heather Ofak is a registered nurse, and she is with AmeriHealth Caritas. She has some great information, so don't go away. Talking in EPA, we'll be right back. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric, Mr. Slim, ductless heating and cooling system. Mr. Slim systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money saving technology can save you 25 to 50 percent on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialists, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600. Your exciting new TV experience is here. Smarter, faster, easier to use. With live TV, recordings, video on demand, and streaming apps all in a single place. When you're looking for something new, recommendations are tailored to you. Voice-powered, personalized results to find what you want faster. And the unlimited potential of smart home. The new experience from TiVo is here. Have your event with Whitetail, graduation, birthday, bachelor, reunion parties? They have the most tranquil backyard experience with beautiful mountains in the background. If your company or business wants a different alternative to a golf outing, they have outings that can accommodate you. You can have the entire facility to yourself. They will work with you to set up your day of events, sporting clay competitions, trap and wobble trap games, skeet. After a day of shooting, you'll return to a meal designed for you. Call Mike at 570-535-6123 for available group options. Join us this week on Let's Talk Chiropractic. You'll meet Tommy. He's had a lot of injuries, but he's gotten hope and feeling much better thanks to good chiropractic care. His story this week on Let's Talk Chiropractic. Join us. Welcome back to Talkin' in EPA. I'm Paula Dagnan. With me today is Heather Ofak. And Heather is a registered nurse with AmeriHealth Caritas. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Well, let's first have you explain that fancy name. Not Heather Ofak, but <laughs> AmeriHealth Caritas. Tell us about the group. Sure. AmeriHealth Caritas um, is a managed care corporation within Pennsylvania. We serve um, 48 different counties within Pennsylvania, um, including the Lehigh Cap Zone, Northwest Zone, and right here um, in the Northeast region. And when you're talking about doing that, what exactly are you doing? Are you doing programs? Are you doing screenings? What exactly makes up Heather's Day? Sure. So being um, working for a managed care company, um, we serve um, those members within the community that are at or below the poverty line. So we have um, case management services. We have various programs um, that we are able to provide them. And then also within the community, we have um, associates that are, are our feet on the street and go to members' homes and they can see them face to face. So you can actually take your program to where it's needed so it's not like everybody has to come to you. Exactly, exactly. Um, most of our um, case management services are done telephonically. Um, so um, if a member would be enrolled into case management services, um, then they would be able to speak to a nurse, a registered nurse, or a social worker over the phone. Um, we do have that texting capability as well. Um, but then we also have programs um, that are out in the community um, that we meet the member where they are at um, to provide education and services that they require. I, I'm fascinated about the fact that you're so mobile and in, in the texting and, and uh, Skyping even and do people find that as a big advantage because I know n no one would feel uncomfortable meeting you but when it comes to your health 
even a registered nurse can sometimes be scary. Oh, absolutely. And I think um, that previously we did everything via the telephone. Mm -hmm. And um, we understand everyone is very busy. And sometimes they see this phone number that comes across their phone and, and they screen their calls, just like you and I may do. Um, but we have found that um, incorporating some innovation innovative solutions um, to work with those members, to provide them texting, an easier way to communicate with us has been very beneficial, not only for the member, but also our associates in the insurance plan as a whole. Does it also help that people can get, because again, you said people are busy and boy, we can put things off. Okay. We can procrastinate to beat the band. <laughs> so do you find that that helps that you're getting it the information, the questions answered faster? Absolutely. Um, I'll, I can give you an example. So one of our um, case management programs is our Bright Start Maternity Program. So we take care of those members um, that are um, pregnant and we want to outreach everyone who's pregnant to offer services that we provide them and to get them connected to the community resources. Well, we found that um, just calling, cold calling ultimately on the phone, we weren't getting that successful outreach that we wanted to. So we incorporated the texting and no matter where that member is at, whether at, their, at the grocery store or taking their child to daycare or to school, they're able to get in contact with us. And it has been a very, very um, successful outreach on our part. Especially when you're talking about pregnancy. A lot of, you know, oh, what, I, this just happened and that right. just happened. Heather, I, I need another answer to this. It must, it must be very advantageous. It is, and our case, manager, uh, case managers and our care connectors are right there to answer their call. So it's really, really nice. Do you find also that people have, I don't want to say better questions, but maybe more honest questions than they would have if you said, okay, I'm going to see you Tuesday afternoon at four. Well, by the time Tuesday comes along, I've forgotten everything that I want to ask. So does that also bolster the people to take care of themselves better? Oh, absolutely. And they can text a case manager or care connector anytime. It doesn't matter. So if they have a question that pops into their head, they can go ahead and text it right away. And as soon as the care manager or care connector would be in the office, they can respond right then and there. So it, it has been advantageous for us to do that. And um, it's any question is okay. You know, no question is a bad question. Yeah, it's, it's just that I, I guess you know, you must be also dealing with a new generation of, because, you know, I think of, of well, we're, we're catching on, but, <laughs> you know, especially when you're dealing with young moms, right. that must be just a, wow, I can, I can go ahead and I can use my cell phone. Right. And what happens if they have an emergency? Well, they can always, in any um, case of emergency, first thing is to do is to call 911, of course. Um, but in the event that they have a question that needs to be answered, we always um, have them um, directed back to their provider. In the case of um, a pregnant member, it would be their OB provider. But in any case of an emergency, they should call 911. Well, that's, that's good advice for everybody mm -hmm. to make sure that if you have any kind of a problem, just make sure you call 911. What else? does AmeriHealth Caritas offer? You mentioned besides just that, that there are programs in the community as well. Absolutely, so um, we um, are excited um, to announce and to promote our Hazleton Wellness Center um, that had a soft opening in the beginning of December. And um, we're excited that we're going to have an open house um, starting next week on Wednesday um, the 22nd cool. um, with a snow date, of course, um, <laughs> just in case we know how Northeast Pennsylvania <laughs> is, um, but for January 24th. And in that vicinity, um, any Amera Healthcare Trust member can come right into the office, have a question, there's somebody there to assist them. Do they need to be um, connected with um, medical assistance transportation? We can help them with that. Do they have questions regarding their benefits? We can help them with that. Anything within the scope of their insurance, we will be able to assist them with. And this is going to be opening in the building that used to house the chamber. That is correct. So anybody mm -hmm. who, is, who is watching 
can, even if it's after the date, can stop by and oh, just sure. say, hey. You got it, you got it, yeah. So on the 22nd, we're having a lot of um, providers and community organizations come in to take a tour. Um, there is office space available where um, uh, community organizations can have meetings there. They just have to reserve it. Um, and then we're always looking for ways in which we can um, coordinate our efforts with the community resources out there in the Hazleton and surrounding areas. And we um, ask that anybody who has any interest to contact the Hazleton Wellness Center to set that up. And that's terrific. Mm -hmm. So in the, I think a lot of people remember the chamber the building. Chamber, right. So it, it may be a little while before it becomes the AmeriHealth Caritas building. It, so, <laughs> and one of the things that we're also going to be talking about is the fact of lead mm -hmm. and children and lead. Who would have thought right. that in 2020 we'd be talking to you about children and lead. Yeah. Don't go away. Promise? Sounds good. All right. <laughs> Heather says she's going to stay and we're going to get more information from you for you on AmeriHealth Caritas as well as children and lead. You just never know. We'll have that coming up on Talking in EPA. WYLN TV 35 and the Hazleton Unit of the American Cancer Society present the 42nd Annual Telethon. 42 determined to find a cure for all we do. The Telethon will be held Saturday, February 22nd from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. at Premier Catering and Events at Janetti Ballrooms, 1345 North Church Street in Hazel Township. The Telethon is made possible each year by these sponsors. Bonanza Steakhouse, 574 Susquehanna Boulevard in Hazel Township has an unbeatable buffet filled with something for everyone. Our menu includes the finest flame grilled steaks, barbecue ribs, chicken, seafood or sandwiches. You can add the buffet to any entree for a little more. Bonanza features daily specials. Join us Saturday and Sunday for our breakfast buffet that includes our famous omelet and egg station, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Hi, Hunter Ellis here for Night Hero Binoculars by Atomic Beam. These binoculars let you see anything, even in pitch black darkness. Gotcha. The secrets are powerful wide angle atomic beam laser that reveals objects up to 150 yards away hidden by darkness. During the day, Night Hero gives you 10 times magnification. And when the sun goes down, press the night bright button to see clearly in the dark. Light up garbage eating critters or spot thieves before they even get close. Call or click now and get Night Hero binoculars with laser illumination technology for just $39.99. You'll also get a protective carrying case, yours free. Order right now and you can double it. Plus, get our best-selling atomic beam flashlight, just pay separate fee. We'll even ship them to you free. You can get it all, but you have to order now. Call 1-800-401-7146. That's 1-800-401-7146. Or visit bynighthero.com. That's bynighthero.com. Order now. Tune in every Sunday night on WYLN from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. for hard-hitting, high-flying, non-stop action as only Pennsylvania Premier Wrestling High Voltage can bring you. That's Pennsylvania Premier Wrestling every Sunday night on WYLN. I'll see you in the ring. Watch off the beaten path on WYLN TV 35 and discover the Pennsylvania you never knew existed. Welcome back to Talkin' in EPA and today we are talking with Heather Ofak who is a registered nurse at AmeriHealth Caritas with a brand new facility that's opening here in Hazleton. And one of the things that, again, it, it amazes me that we still have children concerned about contact with lead. 
How is that possible? I Heather? know it's hard to believe in yeah. this day and age, but um, I will tell you that um, Pennsylvania children and elevated um, lead levels um, have the highest rate in the nation. I know, right? How is that possible? It is, and um, with um, Governor Tom Wolf, that is his true focus, to ensure that every child gets um, their lead evaluated, and we share that vision with him as well. And we have a um, s specific group dedicated just for children with elevated lead. That is how important it is. Now, again, we're going way back when I was growing up. And I can remember the whole concern about paint. I can remember growing up with the concern about toys. Right. But I thought all that was taken care of. Yeah, and we would have hoped, that yeah. is for sure. And I think we are um, much more vigilant with that. But at the same time, we still have houses that have lead-based paint in them, especially any house that was built prior to 1978. So we have that potential for the paint to chip on the outside, for kids to bring it into the home. Then we also have paint that is um, used for windowsills and everything like that. So anything chipping that was used um, prior to 1978 could have lead in it. And we have children who are all at, at all stages of development from crawling to walking mm -hmm. and they can ingest that unfortunately. What's the first thing we do? Right. We either put our mouth on yeah. the windowsill yeah. right. or we yeah, go okay I but I, I guess so it's not in newly manufactured items. What about toys? And that is, <laughs> for quite some time, we had found um, toys with lead in them. That is always, you know, you always have to be careful. There have um, been even some research that is still in spices that are um, coming over from other countries. So we have to be very careful on what we take into our body. All right. So how would we know then that a child may have had contact with enough lead to cause a problem. Yeah, and, and that's a really good question. And the only way that you are able to determine a lead level would be to have a blood test done. So um, for, with any Medicaid member, um, AmeriHealthCaritas and any other managed care organization, um, that is something that is covered and we, uh, to get. And we suggest that a lead level is drawn at least twice in a child's life um, from the ages of nine to 18 months and two years to six years. And that is something that we will outreach to members who do not have a lead screening done to ensure that their parents set that up with their primary care physician. Is there a way that a parent might be able to, because again, you know, we're, we're, we're thinking about kids and vaccines and we've heard so much about that. And then we have, uh, you know, the regular things that kids, and, and now all of a sudden they want to give my child a test for lead. If I'm coming in as a parent and I'm saying, well, what would I look for? in order to even say, okay, maybe I think my child needs a, a test. Are there outward signs? And there can be, but a lot of times it goes um, where you don't see any symptoms, signs or symptoms. Um, but you can see that the child may not be hitting their um, developmental milestones, that they may be sort of lethargic. That's where, it, when it gets really bad, the lead in their system, you can get really lethargic um, and they're tired or, you know, they're just not right. It's always good to go back and have that parent or guardian contact the um, child's um, primary care physician to ask that question. I've seen this happening. What can I do? Is this right? Yeah, because it's it sounds like what you're describing, so many, again, so many of those others. So now you have a child who you said, what, six months? Yeah, from nine to 18 months. Nine to 18 or months. And two years to six years, we suggest. So nine months old, and I can think of a million and one reasons why I'm not worried about that, Heather, because right. my child is just growing up. So what are the, you know, you, you mentioned about the development aspect of it. What are some of the concerns then if, 
it goes on too long. Sure, there can be complications where their brain may not develop properly. Their speech, um, their walking may not develop the way it should. So it can have great implications on the child's development overall. Wow, mm -hmm. and, and I'm, I'm just fascinated by the fact that it's 2020 mm -hmm. and we would think, so how much lead just as a, I guess what I'm wondering is as a parent, how much lead would my child have to come in contact with? Well, we don't want your child to come in contact with any, any type okay. of lead. So no lead is best, of course. So, um, but at the same time though, I just strongly urge any member, um, any parent, any guardian that has any questions to follow up with their primary care physician. So it's not something that would be necessarily, it's a nine month well visit, and you'd wanna say to your child's pediatrician, maybe we should have a test for lead? Oh, and absolutely, and our providers within the Amira Health Caritas system um, that we partner with, they are very well aware of the lead um, screening that is required for Medicaid um, patients, and they will go ahead and do that. In the event that the parents are having difficulty scheduling that, we will work with them to ensure that they get a proper appointment, whether it's their well child or an additional appointment that is needed. Now, you mentioned Pennsylvania having very high lead levels. Mm -hmm. Why? Well, it, we see that um, a lot of the homes, um, especially with our Medicaid population, that they live in older housing um, developments. And so a lot of those houses are built prior to 1978 that have the use of the lead um, paint in them. Wow, mm -hmm. so I, I guess, again, when we're talking about something like this, is it something that a parent should say, I guess I better have my house checked? Oh, absolutely. And, and what would you do? Yeah, sure. And so that is something that they can work with our primary care physician about. But also to supplement that, um, we have our case managers that will walk them through that every step of the way. So they may not um, necessarily own their home, but they could also rent as well. And so we've had to work um, with the member and their landlord to get the house tested. Tested? Mm -hmm. So the house can get tested? You got it. Yeah. Air? Yeah, air sampling, dust sampling, and paint. Oh, mm -hmm. and is that something that is would be a requirement before you had your child tested or not necessarily no, no. Um, because oh, you want that test first to make sure you have that baseline ultimately but then if the um, lead level is elevated we want to know where it's coming from and the um, house that that member would live in is the first place we start um, there are other places. I mean, it could be in pipes if there are still lead pipes out there. Um, we have dealt with um, some um, sources as being in the water system in school districts. So you never know. But depending upon where the member lives, that's where you start first. I have a whole new respect for lead, mm -hmm. which I didn't give two thoughts about for <laughs> ever since I was a kid. Right. Wow, and you have something else you're gonna talk about and that is nutrition. You got it. And lead. Right. All right, well, don't go away. We're going to find out more. Heather will be back and we'll talk more about lead, children, health, keeping them healthy, and everything else that comes with American AmeriCaritas Health on Talkin' NEPA. Don't go away. CARES is a local and family owned agency dedicated to providing exceptional services for individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities throughout Pennsylvania. CARES specializes in day and residential services, respite, home and community, behavior supports, and chaperone vacations. At CARES, the participants are the VIPs. Now contracting life sharing and respite providers, CARES, empowering individuals to maximize their opportunities and potential in their community. The Falvella Law Firm, 
located at 641 Route 93 in Sugarloaf, offers help with car and truck accidents, wills, powers of attorney, and estates. With a small team of attorneys, they work directly with each and every client serving all of Northeastern Pennsylvania. They are proud to offer legal services that make a real difference to you. Call them at 570-788-4191. How you doing, everybody? My name is Ricardo. I'm running for president of Taco Land. This guy right here is fake. I know what it takes to make a real taco with a real corn tortilla, with the cilantro, onions, and salsa. That's right. If you vote for me, I promise you, I will teach you how to make a real taco. That's right. Tune in to WYLA Channel 35, Cooking with Jay Zapata. That's right. Tune in, vote for me, and guess what? You're going to have the best tacos ever. Whitetail Preserve has an immediate opening for a chef. Please call 570-455-4251, extension 1378 for details. What's on TV? Plenty. WYLN TV 35, the best in local programming. Attention WYLN viewers, WYLN TV can now be seen on the Hazleton Service Electric Cablevision HD tier, channel 507 and over the air at 35.1. WYLN, we're your local network. Let's get right into it. Talking in EPA with Heather and we're talking lead and nutrition. You got it. You've really given me all kinds of things to talk about today. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Um, so um, what we have um, developed at AmeriHealth Caritas for all of our members within um, Pennsylvania is a partnership with MANA. Um, it's Metropolitan Area Neighborhood Nutrition Alliance. Um, they are a nonprofit agency out in Philadelphia. And we wanted to pilot something to go ahead and support those members that have elevated lead. And we wanted to think of an innovative way to help them with this. So um, we have, this has been in the works for over a year now, um, working with the MANA registered dietitians and chefs, but we have developed um, a menu specifically for members with elevated lead which is nutrient packed with zinc and calcium, vitamin C and iron to help them and to block that lead from being absorbed. Now, is that just for kids? It is for kids right now, specifically with elevated lead levels. Any elevated lead mm -hmm. levels. And this, you said, starts at nine months? Right. Well, the testing starts at nine months, okay. but we you have to consider what a nine-month-old eats. Ah. <laughs> but we have started anywhere up from three and up because the menu that they have developed, it is kid-friendly, but to get the, enough nutrients in there, they have to be a little bit older. Wow. Mm -hmm. And do they like what they're eating? So far, so good. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, don't tell them I, I asked that question. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> and how can people find out about that? Oh, sure. So um, they can, um, if they are not already connected with AmeriHealth Caritas, they can always call the special needs unit um, at 1-888-888. 7980766 and we can connect them right up there um, with a case manager um, that deals with lead and also the MANA program as well. That's fascinating. Mm -hmm. I'm just this whole program today has given me a different outlook on so many different things. Heather, thank you for joining us today. And when we're, uh, again, we've given you the numbers on the screen, including the number to the brand new facility that will be in Hazleton. You come back and see us again. Okay, thank you. Okay, and we certainly hope that you will join us again soon here on Talkin' in EPA on WYLN. <laughs> <laughs>